We are going to solve Project Euler problem 37. The problem is the following one. Some uh, primes have the property that if you continuously remove digits from left to right, then you get a prime at each, each stage. For example, this series right here. Uh, similarly, we can work uh, from right to left. So we can trunc truncate, uh, truncate digits from both right and left and at each stage remain with a prime number. There are seven primes for which that holds and we need to find them and the sum of them. So um, in order to do this, I already copied this prime generating function in our file. Um, this is the same one that we used in problem 35. I won't go over it again. Um, now, the interesting part is this. We have basically have to define uh, two functions. The first is um, the first one that checks if a number or a prime number is right trun trunkable, and the second function that checks if a prime is left trunkable. So first of all, let's define is right trunkable which will take an integer and return a bool. And is right trunkable means that we can remove uh, digits from the right and remain prime at each, each stage. So we can do this. Uh, number n is right trunkable if, well, first of all, it has to be prime itself. So it needs to be a member of, um, uh, well, of primes, which is the set of prime numbers that we generated right here. Um, and if we remove the rightmost digit, which we can do by calculating n modulo 10, then this also needs to be right trunkable. Uh, so we're going to do this in a recursive manner. Of course, we need a base case then, and this I will define um, as the following. We just define the number zero as right trunkable. <coughs> All right. So then we need to do the same for left trunkability. So is left trunkable, takes an int, returns a bool and a number n is left trunkable. Um, I will do this in a slightly different way. I will <coughs> convert this number into a string and then remove digits from the left. This is easier to do if, well, if we are dealing with strings, not integers. So I'll go ahead and do that. Write a recursive function that I'll call go. And go takes a string and returns a bool. So, uh, well, first of all, we define, similarly to this one right here, we define the empty string as left trunkable, and each um, other string, that is the string representation of a prime, we call that string representation k, and it consists, well, of the first Digit, but we are not interested in this. We are interested only in the in the in the rest of the string. Well, first of all, if the string that k represents, so if read k is a member of primes, and if um, the rest of the string, which is xs, is also left trunkable. <coughs> So we'll call the recursive go function on xs. Now let's just call this right here. We need to call show n to convert n into a string. And that's basically it. Now for our main function, um, we can main. We need to um, get all the primes. Um, filter them according if they are left or right trunkable and then take the first 11 ones. 
which are of course the only ones. So let's first of all we have our list of um, sorry we have our set of primes which is this one right here we want it as a list so s dot to list primes that is our list of primes then we need to um, filter them if on the criterion that we keep an x sorry um, if well that x is left trunkable and if it's right trunkable. So well then we need to take the first um, the first eleven ones, take eleven, build the sum of them and print them out. Now of course this won't give us the right answer because um, this would also recognize primes um, like 2, 3, 5 and 7 as trunkable primes, but uh, the problem states that we don't need to consider those. So let's go ahead ah, and filter them out. This we can do by just calling drop while we, take the fir uh, we drop the first that are less than 10. So let's go ahead, uh, compile this real quick. <coughs> and run it with time. Mm. And this doesn't seem to terminate. Uh, oh no, what's, what's going on? Ah, well, of course. We don't calculate n modulo 10 right here because this will actually give us the last digit but we want everything except the last digit so we call diff instead now let's go ahead compile this again run it and this of course gives us the correct output in 0.18 seconds thanks for watching